What's going on, guys? We're here in the Mitos booth. Is it Mitos or Mitos, Jack? It's Mitos. Mitos is a racetrack. Mitos. Or Mitos, right. in this case, Mitos at the trailhead. There you go. So we have a very exciting opportunity, guys. This is the brand new tire that they've been working on for a while. It's been two trade shows now, right? It's been rumored that we're going to see this tire, and this is it. This is the first time this tire has come to America, and we're going to tell you about it right now. Enduro XT Plus, Enduro Trail XT Plus is basically the most up-to-date version of the old, if you're familiar with the E13 and E12, which mm -hmm. was a fabulously performant tire. I mean, that was an excellent tire for us. Um, the XT Plus basically is the newest updated version of the, of the Rally Star. Coming out at the end of the summer, we're gonna start seeing a bunch of different sizes for this thing. Okay. Um, this one here that you're looking at is the yellow stripe, the Dakar version. For anyone familiar with the Dakar version, all the same adaptations in this tire line with the Dakar as we had with the uh, with the green stripes and our other adventure bike tires. Okay. So the yellow stripe is the stiffer uh, carcass and the, the longer wear and rubber. And then in this tire line, in the Enduro Trail XT Plus, you're gonna see the big thing is going to be a, a 9100 front for oh, the guys that like sweet. the fatty. Yeah, so fatty front adventure tire. Fatty that's front, awesome. With fatty front with the, a good long wear and rubber sweet. performance carcass, and uh, we know this one performs well. We've seen Chris Birch. We know what he, he can do with that tire, so we know what the tire is capable of. Nice. So the 9100 21, and we're also going to be coming out as quick as possible with a, a 19 inch. I'm not sure if it's mm -hmm. going to be a 110 or 120, um, but as as we get closer to uh, Christmas season. I mean, uh, hopefully uh, Santa Claus will bring in those, be bringing those for uh, 2023. So as far as the rider who's going to use these tires, is it 50-50? Uh, is it a 60-40? Like, what, where are you guys slating this at? Is it just your most aggressive knobby tire that you can put on your bike? It's going to last a lot? Like, what, what are we looking at? Realistically, the tire design, in terms of, let's talk about the, uh, the, the carcass. Yeah, let's do it. Carcass is consistent with all of the other carcass designs that we use for our adventure bike tires. So okay. this tire line is designed to carry load range is consistent with what we would see from you know the mid-size adventure bikes and so on so okay. that's the carcass side of it the tread design this is a design we've had around for a little while like i said with our rally star um, we're starting to get a lot of time on them uh, at a very very high level we're getting a ton of testing and the feedback we're getting honestly from the rally star is actually the mileage for such a, a an aggressive tread pattern is really really good we know it's it's good but that's not quite good enough for us we want to see it great so great is the longer wearing rubber in the in the yellow one now as far as segment, this is definitely going to be considered an 80-20 tire. Or pardon 80%. me, 20-80. Let's go the right. 80%. Let's it's 80% off-road. Off -road. Yeah, this is absolutely the most aggressive thing you're going to it's want to It's going to get you it. to the trail and give you the best performance you can possibly have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and the big thing here is this tread design. We're very proud of this tread design because it does perform well on road. Nice. Um, it's not not something you're going to see a lot of crazy problems with with tread wear. Like I said, we've got a ton of testing on them, a ton of mileage, and a whole bunch of feedback from the customers that have been running the Rally Star, and everybody seems to be really, really happy with it. So on this set of tires, the average adventure rider, what kind of mileage can you expect and can you expect out of this tire? Let's just say that we've been talking to customers here at uh, MOA Rally, and on those EO7 Pluses, uh, the Dakar version, I think a couple guys came through and said they were consistently getting well over 6,000, 7,000 miles, and they weren't, weren't, they weren't worn out. Right. Um, on something like this, if I had to guess, because we don't have any time, of course, on this one, this is literally a brand new tire. We haven't had this one on the road. I'm going to try to yeah. put it in my pocket and take it back to Canada <laughs> with me. But uh, I'm, I'm going to guess you're probably going to get about 30% less mileage, but performance off-road is going to be night and day different to, uh, to a 60-40 split tire like the EO7. So. That's awesome. And when can we expect to see these hit the general public? I don't have a set date yet, but I can tell you that um, if you're seeing a hard part here, uh, they're in production. So I'm going to guess that by the time they hit stateside, it's going to be like... Uh, late into the fall, but definitely this season we're hoping to see them. There it is, guys. The brand new Enduro Trail XT Plus. It's going to be a great tire here in the segment. It's going to shake up the industry if it gets as good of mileage as you say it's going to get, and it performs as well as we've been told it performs off-road. Anyway, I'm Carl Bradshaw. This here is my friend Jared from Mitas. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there.